Hey guys, so I got a little bit of time off today and I thought I'd uh, go over a few things about our guiding operation. Um, kind of like a philosophy of it, really, just to kind of let you guys know um, what kind of outfit we run and, and how we like to do things. Our hunts are super personalized, like virtually exclusively one-on-one -on -one trips. We don't really do two-on-ones or three-on-ones, maybe in special circumstances where the customers want that from us. But really, it's a one-on-one -on -one thing. And I rarely have more than one assistant guide, <clears throat> and never more than two. So what you get with us is you get uh, the guy in charge is the guide, who's me. And I may have one assistant with me. Now, I'm with the assistant every day. So uh, before we head out in the morning, we're having a conversation about um, what the conditions are for that day, what may possibly work, what's worked in the past, um, you know, where there's most likely to be successful. So really, it's uh, I'm not the type of outfitter that's going to turn you loose with an assistant guide and just say, there you go, you know, here I'm going to drop you off with my airplane on such and such river and uh, I'll see you in a week or two. You know, good luck. That's not how we operate. You're going to be with me every day. Um, the assistant guide that's working with me but will be with me every day. And if, if we're having trouble, you know, on any level, we can we can troubleshoot that day by day. So in the morning and the evening when we get together and have our little powwows, we can straighten all that out. So personalized service. The other thing I like to do is we like to be comfortable. So our, our hunts are not... Uh, a lot of hunts in Alaska are really rough. So you'll get, uh, you know, you're eating your freeze dried meal out of a sack. Um, you're sleeping in a sleeping bag every night. Um, you're in a tent. There's no toilet facilities, anything like that. We don't operate that way. We've got real beds. Um, we have real home cooked meals every day. Heat, all of our rooms, all of our accommodations are heated. Um, 24 7 communications so we'll have either cell or uh satellite service uh internet service frequently and real toilets flush toilets uh, showers television all that so our accommodations are first class the whole way um that being said that i mean a comfort is one thing but you also have to be successful so so we pride ourselves on being very successful we're probably one of the most successful guide businesses in alaska um and it's not for lack of effort you know the you can hunt harder when you're comfortable so if you've got a chance to dry off and get a good night's rest and get some good food and you know, the next day rolls around you can hunt harder and spend more time in the field actually than if you're if you're trying to dry your food out or you're halfway starved or just have a bad disposition because everything's you know not not good enough so we like to keep everything first class and and uh so that we can put the long days in um you know and we do have great equipment uh the skips we use and the optics we use all of our equipment is top notch and if there's something better than what we have we get it we upgrade constantly we buy we buy new equipment constantly all of our money goes back into equipment and, and gear and things of that nature so we like to be super mobile so if we're if we're hunting a certain a certain location and it's just not working out for us our boats are fast and seaworthy and we can go from 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 point a to point b quickly you know and we can we can spend half a day hunting one area and then the, the second half of the day we may hunt 30 or 40 miles away so we're super mobile and we put a lot of effort in uh every day and another reason we're we're successful is because we do think outside of the box we're not just going to get locked into a mindset and just roll with it until it, the house burns to the ground you know if, if something's not working like i said we're going to we're going to modify it we're going to change our gear up we're going to change our techniques up we're going to talk it over we're going to have meetings and we're going to make sure that uh, you guys are super comfortable um and yet are super successful so those are those are basically how what keeps our clients coming back you know we do have a lot of repeat business and that's the, that's the real that's the real uh, crux of our core of our business is repeats or friend or repeats so and you know the goals in our business sure we want to be successful all the time I mean that's when the, where the rubber meets the road that's the most important thing so 
but really we want to be safe all the time. So we've got top-notch safety equipment. We're always thinking globally. We're not just going to get caught with our pants down and have some unforeseen circumstances happen. We know we really like to know our clients' health issues, so we can so that we can uh, accommodate them properly in advance. We know how to kind of show they need us to put on, etc. <clears throat> um, and we like to have a we like to have an enjoyable atmosphere. We want to get along with everyone. We don't want to have a you know a, a conflict of personalities that's just going to deteriorate. We don't we don't operate that way. We want you guys to be happy, and we want you guys to be successful. And we're going to do whatever it takes to make the hunt your hunt. So you know we know how to we know how to we know we know how to put the thing together so it's going to work. At the same time, we've got to keep you. We've got to supply you with an enjoyable trip and a good atmosphere so you will have a good time and you will be successful and you will want to come back and out with us again. Now, also, we're super ethical. We, we abide by the Safari Club uh, the Safari Club Code of Conduct to the letter. Um, legally, we, re, we abide by every reg above and beyond. Ethically, you know, we're never going to do anything that's not completely ethical in any way, shape, or form. And financially, we're going we're to do everything we can to make sure that we offer you guys the best possible value for for the money that you've paid us. I mean, we don't, we're not going to we're not going to skimp on our services in any way, shape, or form. That's not how you can stay in business long term like this, and that's not how we can keep you guys happy. And that's, like I said, that is our number one goal. So, but I did want to talk to you about one certain hunt that we had. So we have the best mountain goat hunt in the world. Glacier Mountain Outfitters does. Um, this is a hunt that anyone can do. Yeah, I know you've heard the stories mountain. Any, you probably have been. But many of you have been on mountain goat hunts where it's virtually impossible. I mean, physically it's so demanding. The country is so rough and it's so hard to get to find the game you're after, and then to get from point A to point B to actually seal the deal with the with the big mountain goat. I get a ton of hunters that have been on other mountain goat hunts, several even. <clears throat> one one hunter will have been on multiple mountain goat hunts that were unsuccessful. So we get a lot of these guys, and I just want you to know that our mountain goat hunts are totally successful. It's virtually 100% a nice male goats, and it's a hunt that almost anyone can do. The, the level of physical ability to uh, successfully get a mountain goat with us is as low as possible basically if you can uh, if you can get in and out of a skiff um, operate your rifle and fire the thing you know out to 300 yards or so there's no reason why you won't be successful on a big mountain goat with us we don't necessarily have to climb big mountains ever um, uh, we can take our time you will see hundreds of mountain goats on a hunt with us if you hunt with us for any amount of time a couple of days you're going to see way over 100 mountain goats you're going to see mountain goats standing on the beach so we'll see groups of mountain goats are right on the beach within you know a couple dozen yards of our skiffs so <clears throat> we're super successful on these the trophy quality is really high we're, we're looking for a nice big male they all, all got great long fur um, so we have to spend a little bit of time putting the right goat in the right spot hunters but uh, you know as we, over the course of a hunt we can usually find exactly what we need which is a nice nice male goat in a spot where we can get it so it's not always the first day or the second day but as the hunt progresses that the correct goat will be in the correct spot and we'll get all of you guys will get a will get a nice big male goat with us I mean it's virtually a hundred percent I can count on one hand the amount of people that did not kill a big male goat with us out of scores of hunters so this is your best opportunity. There's not a, there's not a better place to get a big trophy male mountain goat. Period. There's just not. And like I said, anyone can do this hunt. I don't care if you're if you're diabetic. Uh, we've had people with quintuple bypasses get mountain goats with us. Uh, we've had people with one leg get a mountain goat with us. We've had people well into their 80s. Many people in their 70s have got mountain goats with us. So this is just a hunt that you can uh, that uh, if you've been if you've been intimidated by mountain goat hunting or been unsuccessful in the past, you need to give us a call because you will get what you came for. So anyway, that pretty much wraps up uh, you know our philosophy of how we like to operate. 
you know, just really personalized and, uh, and uh, successful. And then the one hunt, the mountain goat, that's something that uh, we're really proud of. And uh, we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that you guys go home with what you need and have a great experience too. And want to come back and maybe hunt, uh, you know, brown bears or, or blacks or grizzlies or whatever else we have to offer. So I just want to touch base with you guys and uh, just give us a shout. Thanks.